Hey, my YouTube family. I hope everybody's day is going great. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Um, I did a video about a month or so ago back on my Lazy Stone nipplet. And I just wanted to do a review you know, on my nipplet and the Pippet Top. I also ordered that as well. Um, so with the nipplet, you have the thimble and you have the syringe. So you'll stick it in there like that. And then you'll put this part over your nipple and you'll just draw it out like so. I like this because you can adjust the strength of the pool, you know, um, versus the pipit top. Uh, the pros and cons about the nipplet, I don't have too many cons. Um, the only con I would have about that is, is that they say it's secrete. Putting your fingers in your mouth. Stop. Here, you want your juice? Here you go. Sorry. They say it's secrete under your under your clothing, but in reality, this part right here sticks so much out, it just looks weird. Um so I wear what is a breast shield under that. So it looks more, um, more secrete. Um, other than that, I love a nipplet. Um, I, I'm still using that right now. But with the Pippa Top, we have this right here. And it comes with a cream. So, what you do is you put a lot, you're supposed to put a lot of the cream over your nipple. And say this is my boob right here. You'll put it over your nipple like this and you'll push it in. And that's what causes the suction. Now, with this, it's kind of hard to determine your suction because if you want a tight pull, you push it hard. If you want a light pull, you push it just lightly. But I couldn't really wear it. I, I was only able to last a few days with this because it just um yeah this part right here it would dig so much in my skin to where it, it was causing pain so I was only able to use that for a few days I, I couldn't last with it and with the Pippa top you wear it for 24 hours the only time you're supposed to take it off is if you shower versus the nipplet you only wear it for eight hours a day. Both of them for three months, but the nipplet eight hours a day. Um, with the nipplet, I like to apply this. You still want to lubricate your nipple and around your areola, um, just for the, uh, the greater the suction. Not only that, for the comfort. Um, but besides the Pippa Top causing me pain, I liked it because it really did shape your nipples. Um, but I, I, I just I, I just couldn't do it. Like the, the pain was just too unbearable. I like how when I'm wearing it, see how it's dented up in here. With my breast shield over it, you know, I, I just sometimes I, I'm afraid that it'll damage the tube. But if it does, I'll just order another one. I'm not worried about that. But yeah, but the, I like the pivot top because you don't have to worry about all that. You can just put the breast shield on and go about your day. And not have to, you know, worry about any tubing or nothing like that being out. Plus, sometimes the tubing, that's another uh, con with the nipplet. Um, if you do wear the breast shield, uh, the tubing part you know of course is being pushed against your your skin your breast skin you know when you have the nipple the, the breast shield on 
Um, but it's not irritating to the point to where I can't bear it. I mean, um, it, this this is more bearable than the Pippa Top to me. Um, but I mean, if there's any ladies out there that has the struggles with inverted or flat nipples, I would say the niplet is the way to go. Um, to be honest, it it um it brought my nipples out. You know, my right one I can say was completely completely inverted like it wouldn't pop out no stimulation nothing versus my left nipple my left nipple was flat so kind of with stimulation that would come out but not not far I mean it was still not much of a change so but with the niplet once I started I, I've been using this now for almost two months and you gotta you gotta wear it for three months straight for eight hours a day so, and since I've been wearing it, dramatic change. Um, I don't even have to stimulate for my nipples to pop out now. They just, they stay out. And that's, that's, the great, that, that's the great part. Because with my daughter, I mean, I didn't think to look up nothing like this um, before my daughter was born, you know. Because I wanted to breastfeed her, but that didn't happen because of my nipple issue. So, if... And when I decide to have another child, hopefully I pray that I'll be successful at breastfeeding. Now, some people use this for cosmetic reasons because they, they feel, you know, maybe, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They feel, um, not good about how, you know, their nipples are. Like, they feel self-conscious. So, some people use it for cosmetic reasons, but majority of people use it for breastfeeding reasons, you know, to correct their nipples because they can't breastfeed and they want to. So, if you're one of those um, women that has that issue, I would definitely say the niplet is the way to go. So, I mean, that's my review. I hope everybody's day is going great. Um, if you're already a subscriber to me, please, as I always say, I'm up for pointers, I'm up for tips on my videos. I don't take criticism harshly or however you feel about the video that I've done. I mean, I'm, I'm all for the critiques and, you know, likes and, uh, you know, just thanks for, thanks for being a subscriber. Um, I appreciate you watching my channel and my videos. Um, for those that are new to my channel, welcome. And please hit the subscribe button. But till the next video, you guys take care. I love you, my YouTubers. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Oh, <clears throat> since our show. But yeah, you guys take care. Till the next video. You guys enjoy yourself. Bye. -bye.